I started to feel ill. So I left work, went home, took some Robitussin and some Tylenol and went to bed. I woke up the next day, well actually 3 a.m. the next day because my husband was leaving to Jamaica. I drove him to JFK airport and after I took him to JFK, I decided I would just continue to do my morning routine. I went to the gym. I was able to do hmm, 15 minutes of strength. And I went on the treadmill attempting to do 30 minutes of running. 11, min 11 minutes into my run, I felt like I couldn't breathe. And that took me back to when I had pneumonia, couldn't breathe, end up in the hospital for seven days. That was one of the most, that was rough, that was horrible. Being away from my kids, my kids crying all the time. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't walk, and the doctors couldn't find out <clears throat> what was wrong with me. So I wasn't about to take another chance. So I got off that treadmill, I went home. Okay, went home, that was like 6 a.m. in the morning. I went home, got in bed, slept, got up, felt a little better. Took some more Robitussin. I'm like, okay, I'm getting a cold. All right. I took my daughter to her modeling class in the city by Barbizon. But on the way up, I'm like, I'm not liking how I'm feeling. It's not right. Later that Sunday evening, the fever kicked in. The fever kicked in. I'm like, oh no. The aches and pains of my body kicked in. I was like, no, I got COVID. This is the way I felt in 2020 when I first contracted it. So I'm like, nah, I don't have COVID. I went to bed Sunday, couldn't sleep, aches and pains, fever, chills. My head hurt. I got up to take my kids to school. My daughter said to me, Mom, I'm not feeling well. Can I not go to school today? So I said, normally, I'm like, hell no, you're going to school. Can you walk? You're going to school. But I just knew in my heart that something wasn't right. So I told her, we're going to school. I had to go to the bank because I have this mortgage payment that I had to pay. So I went to the bank, deposited some money in the bank, but while in the bank, I felt like I was about to faint. I felt nauseous. I had to ask the bank teller, can I use their bathroom? I need to splash some water on my face because this is not right. I got in my car in the parking lot and I wasn't able to drive the car. I was so weak. I'm like, no, I'm going home to take a COVID test. So even though I still had the, the little thing in my head said I had COVID, I still ignored the sign, the little voice in my head. I stood in that bank parking lot. I think maybe about for 10 minutes. I didn't know when I fell asleep, but I woke up with enough strength to drive home. I was about two minutes away from home, so that was good. I went home. I have this nice fleece fluffy blanket that I bought from JCPenney. And I took it out, its bag, and I covered my body in my dress that I was wearing and everything, and I slept. I was sweating. I was aching. My head hurt. I felt nauseous. I'm like, oh my God, no, this is for real. So this is Isabel's test, and this is my test. Isabel's and mine. So.
So I'm back home from my walk. Um, it took me 57 minutes. Well, let's see how long it took me. Because this yesterday was a lot of work. Okay. 59 minutes. And it took me that long because I was making, I was doing, I was making content. <laughs> my hair is wet. I was sweating. My body was hot. Outside was cold, but even though it was cold, because I was because I'm feeling ill, it's I was I guess sweating or whatever else I was sweating. Yeah. So I'm feeling hungry. Actually, that's a good thing. Like a lemon Concoction. I don't know why I'm messing my hair. Go get. With lemon juice concoction, um, some old Jamaican remedy. <laughs> When you have a cold, you're feeling ill, it, I don't know what the honey and the white rum does and the lemon. I can't tell you. I never, I never research. I never ask. I just drink it. And I know that it will help. So I had that in my Oh my God. She wants ice cream, y'all. It's it's her last day. Seven thirteen a.m. in the morning, and she wants ice cream. No, that's too early for ice cream. And why is my <laughs> so my four year old? This was my first smart um smart watch that I bought. Mommy. I never got rid of it because I actually Mommy, love it. I actually prefer prefer Mommy, it more than. It's her birthday my apple watch but my daughter was playing with my apple watch and i don't know where she put it so i happened to Mommy. draw for this but the band is broken so i, I purchased a band and I'm, I want to see. Sorry. I want to it's see bandless you. for now 
but I still use it. All Sweet. I do, yes, honey. Get it on with the thing. Sure, here you go. One second. So what I use I, I, when I go for my walks, so I just put it in my palm and close my palm. So when I do that, I just walk. And it, it cut it counts, but it's still a little too fast. So I use this morning to calculate my um, my steps. <laughs> I love my I love my Samsung Gear. It's rugged. It's rough. It's not as I don't think it's it's as fragile as. And I love this. Oh my God! It's been six years. The watch just broke on me. And it, um. So, so far it says I completed 600 and well, 6,389 steps for the day. My goal is to do 10,000 steps per day. So I have Mama. a little under 4,000 to go. Yes, Susie. Ivy Jane.